Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 where we're currently viewing our Mediterranean shipping passenger thing, ferry. <laughs> I can't think of the name. That goes from Naples to Rome to Marseille to Barcelona and all the way back. Guys, today we're going to be finally sorting Italy out with a train line. Also, this is going to be the last train line that goes to Amsterdam. Because the place is getting a little bit overcrowded right now. But also, all the train lines that we currently have hooked up all lead to Amsterdam. I eventually need to start creating some cross-European ones. Like, for example, we could start in Bordeaux, go to Marcel, to Milan, over to Budapest. I could do it from, like, Paris to Frankfurt to Prague. So rather than all going up to then come back down, we're going to go left to right, boys, left to right. But we're going to show Italy a little bit of love before we do go down that road. For the first time ever, we kind of went and started our own, or kind of immigrated our own company into parts of Italy. Now at the minute all we're really doing is picking up passengers from Naples and Rome and we're dropping off fuel as well into Rome which is slowly making it grow. But nothing's really going to change too much until until we get the big boy train line in right now. Now guys if you are enjoying this series and want to see more please make sure you do smash that like button down below. If you are new in here make sure you do subscribe so you're notified when our next episode does come out. Now what we're going to do, we're going to add the train line in from Stein at Naples all the way up to Amsterdam. And then we'll slowly start growing and implementing everything for each of the cities on this brand new line uh, throughout this episode as we progress. Now, 100%, we're going to start in Naples, going to go to Rome, then he's going to go to Milan. After this point then is where it gets interesting. Now I wanted to go to Amsterdam, so then the, the kind of the thought process would be, if I look at the train line... Here are my current routes, so if I bring it in here, obviously, and bring it out, so it's going to be coming out here underground. So I think realistically, we make it go to Frankfurt. Make it go to Frankfurt, and then what? Do I make it hit through uh, Zurich right here, then to Milan, then down? I think that'll be the way. All the other little kind of cities around it, they'll be the ones that go across. Now, I want to try something in Milan. I want to try something. I don't know if it's going to work out very well. If I chose Milan, or do I choose Zurich here? Zurich. Um, as the, the crisscross city. I mean, they, they could both be a crisscross city in their own right, couldn't they? Yeah. I've got so many decisions, but we'll get onto that in just a moment. So if we're starting in Naples then... It's quite a mountainous town by the looks of it. So this is going to be kind of interesting to try and implement a train station in right now. So this, of course, is going to be an end station. It's going to be an end station. And I'll give it two platforms because you just never know. No, actually, we'll give it one. So if I implement it... Um, no, I'll give it two. I'll give it two. And if I need to do any other after that then we will but look at the amount of vehicles using this road it just shows you how much we need a passenger line um in italy right now so just on the border there so this will eventually all slowly start to grow beautifully and then we get to a passenger station over here so i'm gonna pause the game now even though these these towns haven't really grown much um any growth that happened was all natural and now your boy's about to destroy it. I'm about to fully destroy it right now. With the monstrosities that I'm implementing. But it needs to happen for these places to grow. Now, my only issue is... Um, to be honest with you, I think we might get away with it. Doing tunnels versus bridges just because of the way of the landscape currently is right now. But I drop a tunnel there just so I can then get my roads going all the way around. So... Drop them in there. And I'm just hoping that the track will go and connect all the way over. So if I bring that all the way up to there, and where does it create the, the bridge? Ooh, okay, almost. We'll bring it from this side instead. So bring it straight across. Can we not make it go down straight away? What if I implemented the tunnel here? 
Now I can ter terraform that terrain it um, to get it all connected. And does that remain all on the ground? Yes, perfection. Perfection. And then brush size large, smoothing all this out. Look at us, boys. You don't even notice there's a train line going to be tearing through this. Now, granted, we'd have to create some little crisscrosses, but we'll go down that road when we get there. But we need the two lines anyway, so we can kind of go back on one another. So that does what we need to do. It's already underground over at this point. Now, Milan's going to be interesting right now. It's called Mil Milano. Is that is that the Italian way of spelling it? I'm not quite sure. Um, but we're going to be taking this up to Zurich straight after. So however I implement it here is going to be interesting. Um, there's a lot of vehicles using it, obviously, because it's the, the main city that goes into the south of France, passes over to the eastern Europe, up into the mountains, up into Switzerland, and straight down to the, kind of the southern Italy. So that has naturally just grown to be a decent-sized town as time's gone on. But we got to try to do something right now. So I'm going to get a train line that goes this way across. So we're going to cause, again, mass destruction, which I don't like doing. But we have to. Oh, hang on. Before we, before I do that, I gotta come back and kind of fix Rome before I forget. A little crossing. Too much of a slope, apparently. How big is that? Oh my goodness me, that is quite a bit of a slope, isn't it? Oh snap! I didn't realise how how this was looking over here. Well, I can bring that up to there and then across. Holy moly. That's kind of crazy. I've got to sort out. Well, we'll sort it all out anyway because I'm going to get carried away. I just want to focus on what I'm doing. Uh, i got to add another building to the the, uh, the room one. So, this is what I want to try and attempt. I don't know if it's going to work out. But I'm going to bulk this up to four lanes. And we'll place it there, which will be, you know, perfectly fine. And if I quickly now add in with my track constructions, add in number of tracks four. It ooh, I say instantly make it go underground, but we kinda can't do that. Um just because of the way of I mean I could do it by five. No, it doesn't really work like that, does it? Oh no, it does. Okay, genius. So I've tricked it into giving it five lanes on this bridge, this tunnel. And then the center one is obviously the middle kind of um, thing. Just so I could get it underground really, really quick. That's amazing. That truly is amazing. This landscaping right now. I know what you're thinking. Saniak, you are the best landscaper. I've broken the game. But I want to try. I don't know if this is going to work. And that is trying to build an elevated train line above it. Which will be utilized to go in a different direction. So we have this, which is going to bring train up from Rome to connect in. Which will then be pushed out into Zurich. And then if Marcel had a train line that came through this way. And then the elevated one will be the one that goes over to, to Lyon. And then maybe ends in Paris. You know, trying to create those little cross sections. But if I kept this down to a two-laner, platform roofs, I mean, this is, like I said, very interesting. I don't know how it creates the, um, how people walk down to the street. You know what I mean? Um, high speed, of course. Cantry, yes. If I do it a 10 meter, oh no, that's, oh, that's how high it is in the air. Right, if I make it a short station and place it here. I've never built anything like this before, so this is completely new to me. Pillars, normal. They're all the settings I've pretty much got. But the problem is... How does it attach... People... How do people connect to it and get, to the, get up there? If I drop that there... And if I configure it... Can I not configure it? 
game. There we go. I can configure it. I can configure it. So elevated platforms. Platforms. Yes. Um, a staircase is going to cause a collision there. It's going to cause a collision there. So do they float up? How does this work? <laughs> do you know what I mean? How does this legit work? <laughs> uh, is there a... St I mean, there's all these buildings, which are beautiful. Uh, elevated passenger buildings. Elevated platforms. Elevated tracks. Um, car miscellaneous. Ah! That's what I needed. I mean, yes, they, this is kind of what I needed, but I needed these to be on the floor. These are going up into the sky. <laughs> Can we not make this go... Uh, this is weird. This is so weird. Right, I wonder if just something like this will work. I mean, when I select these, it selects that. So are they intertwined and connected naturally? I don't know. I don't know. I suppose we won't know if this works until further down the road. So if I just... I mean, what is going on now? This is another point right now. He's trying to make um, all this work. So if I... All right, this is going to be interesting. So I'm trying to elevate all this up. But of course, it will only elevate so far before it naturally... Kind of stops what it's doing so if that came to here and put it back a bit to there all right there we go can i then make it go underground from this point hmm hmm if i did well, I brought it down to two tracks. So the road goes over the bridge. So that completely does what I need it to do. To there. And that's under there that can then eventually go over to, to Leon. And then we have a, like a crisscross train station in, in Milan. Oh, I feel fancy. Okay. That is a headache for another day. Whether it works out or not, I don't know. But let's continue the rest of the build here. So the cross happens there for these guys. And um, we'll go down a bit more. Just to about there for a second. Bring that across to here. There we go. Bring you down. And the cross happens there. How the rest of the city builds is entirely up to the city. It's entirely up to the city at that point. So I just want to get now some connections here and here for this. Can't place any small buildings in, but the connection's there anyway. Um, hang on, let me delete it. Let me just double check it did connect. No. No, why are these not connecting? Um, oh my god, now I'm zooming out. What's going on? I'm all over the place now. See, I'm panicking, boys. I'm panicking. What is, is it the terrain? What, what, what is it about this? If I just smoother the, the, the land there out quickly. They can't seem to get anything in. See, that would work there. But I don't want that. That building's way too big. Causes a collision. Too big causes a collision. Platforms, tracks, elevated buildings. Elevated. That is definitely very elevated. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Uh, Mr. Ladius. So I could definitely get this in. No, not that. What, what, what? I've already lost what I could get in. It was this, wasn't it? 
and it connects there so they can actually you know get from this side of the road to the train station I don't even know what that building is but it works and I'm not gonna question it anymore deep breaths Sediac deep breaths I'm gonna get triggered so bad right bring it this then all the way down So I've got to bring it to here, which remains as a tunnel. Now, this is an interesting thing right now, because I am then going to want these lanes to crisscross one another if I bring this down to Legos that way. Maybe I'll bring something this way in. Okay, we'll bring it all into this one. It's going to be fine. Where is the... So that would have to turn like that. Got you. But of course, keeping that down and the reason why it's not going to work is because that needs to be dropped down a little bit more but I might be able to get away with it by doing it from here no so again bringing you down oh it's because that's so low isn't it Right, we'll make it go round. It's not going to hurt us making it go round all the way around. Right, the things I've got to do to make this attach is ridiculous. So then this one. Oh, I just realised something. I've got this on the wrong way round now, haven't I? So I bring that to there. <laughs> Delete you and you. Because you connect into here. And you connect into there. So the other two will then go that way. But then we have to do a little bit of crisscross, but that's fine. That will be fine. So, Milan, all done. I'll get this done quickly right now on this side before... Oh, I, do you know what? I don't think it's going to happen right now because of the, uh, the sheer elevation change. I mean, gotta do like an elevated, with an elevated building work. I mean, you don't want it too elevated, but it does kind of work. Let me try and see what happens. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. But do I have any other option? I mean, of course I do. Hmm. It's a bit shocking. But it works. It's not perfect, but it works. It kind of works. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. So we've then got to go and send it then to Zurich, then to Frankfurt, and then all the way to Amsterdam. So we've got to bring it from Zurich from over there, this way, and then curl it in. So with that logic, we are going to... I'm actually going to set it up going that way and then have it kind of bend round in. Just because I can then maybe run a line from Paris and go this way across into Prague. Because pr Prague has a little bit of... Oh, I better say a little bit of room. It, mm, it's got to use... Well, yeah, I can use the same train. Like, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because I've got the signals on. So that's all good. So I'm going to end up ruining all this little section. I do apologise in advance. <laughs> but am I... Do I, I mean, I apologise, but... Uh, You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> Does he really care? Is the question. Right, we're going to go for a four. Make it a little bit wider. High speed. All that jazz. All that good stuff on. And then drop that as close as possible to here. Actually, no. I'm going to put it back a bit. There. That's good. That's good. 
So we're just now going to get four lines. So I'll, I'll start with the tunnels. And now we've learned... Um, now we've learned we can use five rails for this and not care about the fifth one because it's kind of in the middle. Then it kind of is. It saves a little bit of time rather than building two tunnels. So that should be all good. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out in my head right now. The rest of it, we're going to run with it. So, track constructions. Keep it... Well, put it back on five. Because I can get away with that middle one not even working. For the sake of having these little tunnels. I've completely missed out Zurich anyway. So, we've still got to work with that. Now, I'm going to actually delete this back a bit. And if I configure this to add in... A building this side normal building there we go and then we build the road from that bit easier isn't it so you to there I mean there's nothing really on this side now is there <laughs> you to there so wherever I can we'll create a crossing I um, have to be here for this one. Oh, oh, okay. Did he, wasn't even paying attention that we were going uphill there. Wasn't even paying attention. So that's going to be really, really handy for us on that kind of front. So that's all good. That's all good. So we can kind of rest easy with that. And then, and obviously, we'll have that one side that then tears all the way up then to Amsterdam. Leave us alone. We're all good to go. So, Zurich is a little bit juicy just because of how bumpy this area now is. Uh, it's a nice, sleepy little village, and I'm going to ruin it right now with trains. So, maybe I put this a little bit out of the way. And by a little bit out of the way, I mean. That's the wrong button. Uh, just further down the road where it's a bit more flat and we can eventually utilize the tunnels a bit better because it's so bumpy having it further down the road as well also then would allow us to work with the tunnels better because the whole thing slowly goes uphill so down to two tracks one there one there Nailed it. So track-wise then, we then got to sort this out. So this is our two inner ones here that are going to go all the way through here. So that's what I want them to do, but apparently the slope is too much. So if I start on this side instead, well, let me cancel that. And I feel like that's not connected. So bring this all the way around to... Let's just go here for now. And that would go to there. And this just literally follows it all the way around. To there. Beautiful. And then when we have the line going into here, I, want to, I then have to like kind of make it eventually cross over that way and go that way it's quite a bit over the top but we'll get it done so this would be the world's simplest connection next then just doing these guys to over here so make sure these line up in the right one and then we have the same type of connection on the other side of this we have to like it will crisscross one another eventually but keeping it super simple with what we've got right now and then taking this directly then to amsterdam and Rotterdam. So let me first kind of see what we've got going on. So I want it on this line here. There isn't anything that's going into it, is there? No. Be or that line there, which is fine. So it's either this line here or that line, because that's a cargo platform there. There. So that merges into that one, which will make it super busy. This one has its own line. So it's the third one we're looking at. Which is this one. So if I just bring this out. Again, still dropping down. 
because that's what we're going to utilize. So if I then create a second line here, that's connected to that one. So that one goes in there perfectly. I've just then got to connect this up over to here. So where we go? So we'll go for the outer lane then. Bring this all the way around. Where's it got to go? It's got to go over to there, which is a big shout to get something like this set up. But again, bring it over. Will it not connect? No, because it's, it's going to collide through this, isn't it? Oh, I was hoping I can get it through this building. All right, this is going to completely ruin us. So I'll pull this round to here. To there. And to there. To here. All right, this should be the one. It should be able to follow us all the way in. And breathe easy. We now have a connection from Amsterdam and Rotterdam all the way down to Naples. Took some time. We eventually got there. We eventually got there. But uh, we should be able to get this all hooked up and rocking and rolling. So we've got to do the signals and stuff like that. But I'll do that momentarily. We'll just first set up the line. So we'll start the line down in Naples. Uh, oh, wrong thing there. There we go. <laughs> then to Rome. Then to... Milano or Milan, then to Zurich, then to Frankfurt, then up to Amsterdam Rotterdam, and then we come back on ourselves. But again, when we come back on ourselves, we have to change the station that it then approaches to, and then back at the start. So once it gets to Amsterdam Rotterdam, it comes back to Frankfurt. We then need to change the platform, which will be number four on that side. Then it goes to Zurich next, which is just here, which needs to go to platform two. Then Milano. I feel like I need to say it like that every time I see the name. Goes to platform four. Then Rome. All. There we go. All, all, all train lines lead to Rome, as they say. Bam. And then Naples. Yeah, it stays there. That's fine. But uh, what what's missing right now is the little crisscross here that completes that line, and we got no issues. So the train line's all set up. Train line is all good to go. Only problem is right now we got to set up all the little um, signals and stuff like that. So let's get this done first, then. So let's. I'm gonna start back over here. Uh, where is it? There we go, Amsterdam. So I know that it's split just here. So the right is coming in, the left is going forward. That's all we need to know. So bam, bam, that's how it goes. We'll go a bit more forward. Bam, bam. Go a bit more forward again. Bam, bam. A bit more forward again. Bam. Bam. A bit more forward again. And we'll do the next one just here. And we get to here. Noise. And then we'll do one just here. So this is probably the only painstaking task that we have to kind of do. Is all these little signals and whatnot, but it's how we get this beautiful system rocking and rolling. Do one just here. I'm nailing this, by the way, guys. No issues just yet. I might have spoken too soon, but no issues just yet. So I'm trying to do like larger gaps, so one I haven't got placed down as many. But making sure we get them before each and uh, after each and before every station as well. So that they can wait before they approach and go in. 
And then last thing we have to do then is upgrade all the tracks because they won't have automatically been upgraded to high speed or electric or that kind of stuff. Oh, hold on. Let me delete that one. I just realized where we are right now. So this is where it crisscrosses here. So even though the signal's just here, I'll add one there and there. Just be on the safe side. So that line is good to go. Last thing I've now got to do is the tools is upgrade it to one high speed rail and electrify it. That's all I've got to do. It's mainly the um, where we added the tunnels in and the platforms because I, I always forget to select that option. The tunnels, I don't know if you can select that option to be honest with you. We're all good there. So the next one takes place over here. There's a lot more tracks on this side. I don't know why I'm doing that fifth middle one. Because it doesn't really go anywhere. <laughs> it's just so I didn't have to build two tunnels. Because your boy's lazy like that. And then, yeah, all good. So, yeah, I think it's all going to be electric anyway. Don't tell me that tunnel's good to go. And it's good to go there. Did I eventually select it towards the end? I must have done. I just got to sort this bit out right now. The station is okay. Electric, all okay. I think we're good to go. Holy moly, are we good to go right now. So, yeah, one who said I got to add now in the... Well, given the ability to get trains actually on it. Um, right, okay. Exciting stuff. So, which way they go in? They're going in that way. Okay, so if I... Try and pull out a... Where should I try and pull it out? Too much of a slope. That merges beautifully there. Just so I can throw down a rogue s building. <laughs> there we go. Right! I think I'm ready. Okay, I won't be ready, actually, because I've also now got to... Because sometimes you've got to upgrade this. No, that's all good as well. Wow, okay. This is perfect. So, we're going to instantly lose a lot of money on this rail line until we get all those cities that we've now just added in hooked up with bus routes and potentially other transport routes to other cities. So, electric-wise, then... We're going to go for... Because hmm, they do get super expensive. But we'll go for this one. Passenger wagons. So we'll go for a 198 capacity. And... How many? 10? Is 10 too many? Going to spend quarter of a billion dollars right now on 10 trains. Line 65. So, play mode then. We should be all good to go. We shouldn't have any problems with it. But that's going to be interesting. Line 3 could do with some more trains. Wow! Okay. Um, it might take the edge off right now. Well, this is what I, this is what I mean by I need these um, the train lines going sideways across Europe because it takes the edge off Amsterdam because everyone just goes there to get onto a different line. That's why I've got Milan Milano set up as my first kind of tester. It's going to be a nice little hub, Milano is, or Milan. Milan, Sadiak, it's Milan. So now I've got to set up bus routes for each of these cities to bring the people to the train station, right? So before I do that, I then need to go through and add in or kind of create the road network to what I think might happen. So I can then get the bus route going around. 
I mean, these are pretty self-explanatory, aren't they? They pretty much are. This has got a huge mountain tearing through it. I don't know how much people will utilize this. But do I try and get it connected down here it's to some degree? We'll create a nice little windy country road. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, let's just sort it out over here real quick as well. So if that went down to there. We'll do some straight standard roads here. So we just get that outer ring road on the go. I'm going to brush this across here. Right, I'm going to bring that slight diagonal just for the sake of it. There we go. So Milan has got some kind of a structure on the go. So we're going to quickly now throw in some bus stops. So big bus stops, boys. And if I start at the train station just here, work our way around and down. So of course, got to pick people up at the uh, ferry stop. Stop just there. And then we'll do a stop up here. Into there. Just there. Done. So new line. Bus route going all the way around the Recon. So people who live in the middle can walk to various areas. So that's all good. So it's important that we get things like that set up. So I'll add the buses on momentarily. We'll just get more of these bus stops down. So starting at the duh, 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 train station just here. Right, we utilize that as a middle point. To there. I bring it to here. To here. It'd be ideal if I had that road there connected. Just here. To there. And then to there. So it's a little bit funky how this one now works. But there's a couple of roads I've got to add in extra that I kind of missed out on. To get the rest of this rocking and rolling. So, you, but then again, that there's fine. I was going to connect that up there. But they'll connect themselves up eventually. Um, and, and eventually build a road through here, which will make that access more of these areas. So if I get then a road depot down. So if I just kind of drop it here. And we're going to give both of these two cities right now some buses. So, obviously, low emission buses will add five. No, I'll get six. Eight. We'll get eight for each one. So, on line 66. We'll get eight for Rome. And then that will slowly pick up people around the area, around the town, and then drop them to either the um, cargo ferry line, the shipping line, or the train line, which would be a big help for us. So, is the trains on the way? Is there trains coming through right now? Is this our first train here? I don't quite know. It could be. I don't see. Yeah, I don't see any of a train coming yet. So that is our first train. So bus is on their way. I got to upgrade the road. So we're interested to see right now then how much the traffic reduces in these areas. Now we've got these transport links all set up. We'll sort out Milan next then with the next set of bus stops. So we'll have the one here that picks everybody up at the train line. So we'll then go to here, there, there, up to there, down here, this way, that way, bam, bam. So new line again.
There we go. Standard stuff. So a road depot. Where should I throw it in here? Yeah, I'll just chuck it here for now. And again, we'll do the exact same thing. Eight of these e-buses. Going around. The road's quite busy here, so that's be another thing to kind of look out for. Oh, there's our first train. Right now, boys. Again, this will take a while before it starts making money, because we've got to get everybody over here. So Zurich is the next one we need to drop a bus on because everyone lives kind of slightly out of the way. But we had to do that because the whole thing's on a hill. Which is not good. But we'll preempt some of the streets. So this could eventually be a really, really high value um, line. Eventually. Let me cancel that. Can I do a bend on that? Oh, you want to build a bridge? Do you want to build a bridge? There we go. Try and keep some structure to the city. Straight down to there. Straight across to there. So it's not amazing. At least it gives it some kind of a structure. And then we'll get the bus route sorted out on it. So bus stop just there. Can have it then coming down to here. Down to here. Running all the way up. Over to there. Over to there. Over to here and on the way back. Bam, bam. Bam. There's a little U-turn just there. Nice. So again, just, just does the job really, doesn't it? That's all it really needs to do. So don't need that many buses over here then. So I think we'll just go for free at max. That's all we need to kind of go for, isn't it? So drop these on line 69. That rhymed. This road's ridiculous. It really is. So all the stuff for me to do right now is add in a, uh, a little routing and tooting line for Frankfurt. And same thing again. I'm going to preempt the road network. There we go. So I'm kind of making it all run parallel. And there we go. Slope is too much. Oh, I'll quickly terrain that. There we go. We'll run this up. Yeah, let's roll with that. Let's roll with that. So, building-wise, we'll go this way around. Oh, we could do the connection here. Well, if I drop you here, to then go this way around, and then come down here. Right, this won't look great, but just wait, mate. Alright, do all that jazz. And then we just need to get a street. Should I bend it, the connection? Make it go straight. Mm. Oh, it's a sheer drop. That's why it hasn't naturally connected it. That there works, but it's not perfect. Right, leave it to do what it's got to do, because I'm causing chaos. Um, where is the closest road depot? Road depot, train depot, 
It'll be, right, we'll just grab it from over here. So, we'll buy eight of these vehicles for Frankfurt, because this is going to be a, a city that eventually grows nice and large. Line 70. So, each of those cities that we now got in this brand new line have a bus route that loops around them. Collects passengers. Sends them to either the train station or, if in the case of these two cities in Italy, to the uh, ferry line. So, now, we just have to... Let time do its thing. That's all we can pretty much do at this point is let time do its thing. It's still pulling out trains. That's how um, far behind we currently are right now. So it'll take a while before all this is kind of sorted out. Let me kind of um, smoothen more of these areas. Encourage more growth. And this could be a really, really high value line like the other ones that we have from like Amsterdam to Lisbon or Amsterdam to Istanbul. They could be really, really high value lines. Now, how are we looking over here then? So line 65 is our brand new one. Got 400 people on line 3. Where's line 3 go? Ah, oh, that's the one that goes over that way. That's the one where I've got to add in so much more capacity on top of it. I mean, I could manage the vehicle. And add a few more on. Does, does it then become a little bit too slow? I don't know. You can carry an extra 100 people. Uh, also, you know we just destroyed Riga? A lot of people told me to delete it. And place it back in. It is growing, but there's no industrial. And I think that's why it's kind of killed off the area. But... I'm still not too sure yet. Shall I just delete it and then replace it back in? I think that's what we might have to do in the future. But I think I'll do that once we sort this line out. Because if in the future, I got a bulk upon this one and have a double back as well. So like I got from the other ones. So like multiple trains going back and forth. Because that's really suffering on this line. It really is. There's a lot of fuel over here waiting. Line 19. There's one ship on it. Let me change this ship. So, cargo. Replace it with you. So, where is it? Oh, it's right here. So, that can carry quite a lot of fuel. And there's quite a lot waiting for it, to be honest here, with you as well. Interesting. So, there's that brand new train. It's going to make a gold mine with the amount of people it can now carry. But yeah, we need more uh, trains on that route anyway. We do need a lot more trains on that route. So, the new train that I got in is going to take a while to make money. All these new bus routes I've just got in are going to take a while to make money. But we now reduce the amount of vehicles using... Wow, look at how quiet the road is between Naples and Rome. Now that we have the train line in. This was hustling and bustling before. Now it's just super quiet. That's hilarious. That really is. <laughs> hilarious, mate. It's hilarious. But yeah, we got to add stuff down to kind of grow these. So, Naples, to expand this, easiest thing we can give it is bricks. Uh, bricks are nearby. I'm just going to set up a nice little system. So, I could do it with vehicles. I could set up a nice little back and forth on the train. Let's do a train. So tracks, buildings. It's only going to be a cargo end run. So if I... Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button, don't I? So I placed this here. And the opposite side. Spinsies. Is that like a drop or something? What's going on? Yeah, there is, isn't there? Hold on. Hold on, boys. All right, drop you there. Smoothing.
There we go. So, tracks. Just keep it standard. I mean, I can change the bridge. Suspension bridge! The great suspension bridge of the brick run! That's ridiculous. I could just make it all land. I could... What's the, this one here? I'll go with this one. That's better. <laughs> That's better, isn't it? So if I back and forth line here to here. Naples North will only make it do a full load. And it's only going to load, of course, um, brick. That's all it needs to do. And then bring in the brick, well, I mean stone, sorry. And then bring in the brick from there to Naples. We'll do it via vehicle. So if I then get the building set up, get all this rocking and rolling. Now, it's not going to be a ridiculously sized train. Just standard. So do I go for diesel? Or do I go electric? Now, diesel's going to be cheaper. But do I want to keep polluting is the answer. Emissions 65, electric. It's not that much different from electric emissions. Right, we're going diesel. Hang on, what's the, the unload speed? It's the same. All right, go with you. Cargo, it's got to be able to bring stone over. Is that stone? Yeah. 100 capacity is good enough for me. Line 71. Nice and simple. There's no point over complicating things. So then the vehicle side of it, I just need to then get the building set up for the truck stop. Spin that right round. And then the truck unload stop, which would be here. And we want it in an area that contains bricks, which here will be fine. So then we just do a new line from here to there. I'm in the vehicle depot. I'll buy how many vehicles? Um, you can do electric as well. The urban, yeah, we'll do these. I'll get three of them. Standard stuff, mate. So, again, we'll give you a bit of time right now for this system to be up and running. But that train is slowly loading. Run it, mate. We are on it. So then Naples has slowly started growing as well. It's starting getting more goods. Rome's getting fuel, which is all good. All good, mate. So that train then, if I check out line 65 and the finances. Oh, wow. We almost broke even on the previous year. And this current year, we're running at a profit. I did not expect this to potentially make, make profits so soon. Wow, that's amazing. That truly is amazing. So we're running out of profit right now. We'll just see how it kind of goes as time goes on. So these towns then, grow, we should see growth spurts. So Zurich has got a growth spurt. Yep, growth spurt. Rome, huge growth spurt. Naples, huge growth spurt. Frankfurt right now, huge growth spurt. It's all happening, which linking another connection to Amsterdam is going to cause some growth. But is it enough for it to overtake London? That's now my next concern. <laughs> Whoa, London's gone crazy. London has legit gone crazy. It's so dense and built up right now. Wow, London's killing the game. It is legit killing the game right now. Holy moly. But as soon as you start getting other lines that crisscross over 
side to side of Europe, it would take passengers away from Amsterdam, which will then really start to slow its growth down. So our number one competition to London will get handicapped very soon anyway. Uh, another train, off it goes. So line 65, finances, still making the buddies. Right, is this... Yeah, this has actually dropped off some stuff, so we are producing. There's 30 waiting on board. That's now going to pick up 20. On it, mate! So that just takes time then to kind of transport the goods, and before you know it, it'll be rocking and rolling. We've nailed it! we got some good stuff set up now for, for Italy, all the way up to... Um, to Amsterdam. So the question is, where do I start my first side-to-side -side route? Do I make it go through Milan? Or do I make it go through Frankfurt? I think we'll do Milan first, because we'll just bring it lower down. So we'll definitely... I mean, I could actually literally just make it start in, in Marcel. Or I can use Marcel as another kind of bypassing one and have it come from... Have, another, have the line actually start in Bordeaux. So everyone down here goes to Bordeaux. They want to go across this way, which will go through Marcel, through Milan. And I think I'll bring it down to Belgrad. Yeah. Then through Sofia. And I make it end in Istanbul. I can use the same lines that I've got right now because we have all the signals kind of connected to it. And the trains will just take their turn. Now I'll bring a line from Istanbul over to Bordeaux. Without having to go all the way up to Amsterdam to come back down. Nice. And then we'll do the same over here. I might then start in Paris. That then goes to Frankfurt. That then goes to Prague. Maybe to Warsaw. And actually take it then up to Riga. So take the edge off that line that goes from Amsterdam to Riga just because it gets overpopulated and I need more trains on it. There's a lot of stuff we can pretty much do. There is a lot of stuff that we can pretty much do. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But for now, we are going to end it here, guys. I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And before we do go, this new line made profit last year. And the profits are going to keep increasing as these towns grow. More people visit. And how much, I mean, we just spent a lot of money. Granted, we just spent a lot of money. But our finances, how do I view my finances in the chart? My revenue is creeping up. It went down a bit. Spent some money. But it's creeping, uh, it's slowly, slowly. I'm hoping now we're going to kind of excel it really, really high. Damn, it's a lot of expenditure right there. But guys, until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye. <laughs>